Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2015 Chevrolet Sonic, we're gonna be checking out the eTrailer.com SD tow bar. So there's gonna be a total of five main components needed to flat tow your Sonic down the road. First one's going to be a base plate, and that's gonna provide us with a solid and reliable connection point. That way we can hook our tow bar up to it. Tow bar is gonna be that second component, and that's gonna be the physical link that connects the front of your Chevy to the back of your motorhome. Third main component is going to be safety cables. And these are there in the event of an unlikely disconnect. Uh, those are gonna keep everything paired together. Fourth main component is going to be tow bar wiring. And this is gonna transfer the lighting functions from the back of your motorhome to the back of your Sonic, keeping you safe and legal. And last but not least, fifth main component is going to be a braking system. And this is gonna apply the brakes in your Chevy whenever you hit the brakes in your coach uh, helping to bring you to a more predictable stop. So when it comes to choosing a tow bar for your flat tow setup, uh, it's a pretty important decision because it's gonna actually be, you know, that main connection point. And so you want something that's going to work well with not only your motorhome, but your towed vehicle. And primarily, I would say the big things that I look for is the first one, how is it going to pull your towed vehicle? Um, behind your motorhome. You want it to track nicely uh, and ride smooth. That way when you go around those sharp corners and everything else, you have the confidence knowing that your towed vehicle is going to follow your motorhome and so on. And I've heard pretty good things about this one here. It's relatively long and um, typically the more length you have or more distance you have in between your motorhome and your towed vehicle, the better. Just a little more responsive. And so we've got quite a bit of space here, um, and that's, that's awesome. The other thing is we have two articulation points up here. So it really makes the tow bar itself uh, responsive and, um, you know, very reactive. So when you make that, that turn uh, quickly, it's going to transfer that energy back here, and your car is going to do the same thing. So as far as, um, you know, how this is going to do pulling your vehicle, uh, I think it's going to do a great job. The other big thing that I look for is ease of use. How are you going to live with the tow bar? You know, you don't want something that you're going to have to struggle with every time you want to hook up or disconnect. And, you know, you don't want to get over the road and do a lot of driving and have to uh, kind of dread the fact that you're going to have to take this all apart. Last thing you want to deal with. So this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, really simplifies things and makes it user friendly. One of the biggest advantages it has is the fact that it's non-binding. So what that means is a lot of times once you get to where you're going, your arms are locked into place, they're in a bind, and they're really difficult to remove from your base plate. Well, if that's the case, with this setup, all you're gonna have to do is push on these levers. And that's going to release all that tension and make it easy to uh, disconnect from your base plate. As opposed to some of the other ones that are binding type tow bars, those are a big pain. Um, really want to recommend those. With those, typically you have a little button here and you have to get a special tool out or beat it with a hammer. Um, just a path I wouldn't recommend going down. So the non-binding feature is a very important one. Other than that, um, Tow bar has a couple really cool features actually. Uh, just a few nice touches. One of them being the fact that it comes included with safety cables. So one less component you're gonna have to worry about picking up separately. You know, you're not gonna have to, to uh, you know, worry if they're uh, the right weight capacity and so on. So it just simplifies things a little bit. Um, it does have this rod here, which allows you to put your tow bar wiring over. In our case, we're stretched out pretty far, so really didn't have a need to really use it like uh, to, the, to the full extent. But that's what's nice about it. You can use it if you need it, it's there. You know, if not, not a big deal, not hurting anything. Something else that's pretty neat that you don't see on uh, a ton of tow bars is the fact that we have a built-in high-low adapter. Um, so this piece here, it drops down an inch and a half, or you can flip it around and, and put it in a raised position to an inch and a half. Um, typically you do it in a drop position, but again, you have that option. 
And then the head, I guess you could call it here, at the front of the tow bar, that actually can pivot as well. So it gives you another inch and a half in travel uh, up and down. In our case, we have a really tall motorhome, so we still had to use a high-low adapter. Uh, but in some cases, you know, if you're, if you're right there within that three inch uh, spec and you don't wanna have to use a high-low adapter, you have some adjustability here. So it's nice to uh, have that if you need it. So this tow bar will work with eTrailer.com as well as Demco base plates, uh, but it also has the ability to work with other brands of base plates as well by using an adapter. And that's exactly the setup we have here today. So we have a Roadmaster Direct Connect base plate kit and we put the adapters on our tow bar here. That way they could be paired together correctly and give you the confidence knowing you have your setup uh, done right. So at the end of the day, great all around tow bar. You know, it's uh, gonna be easy to use and really versatile. So regardless of your setup, um, you'll be able to make it work. That way you can pull your vehicle down the road comfortably and safely. And that'll finish up our look at of the eTrailer.com SD tow bar on our 2015 Chevy Sonic.